Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is going to be covering the headers and the footers. Now, the headers and the footers is an area of the document up in the top and in the bottom of the page. The header is in here, this section in there, and the footer is in the bottom of the document. And you can see there, look, your footer, we're in the footer, and then when you go up there, you're in the header section. Now, you're actually inside the document because that's where the, the header and the footers are stored. Notice when you go to the headers, I just double clicked in the area and that automatically took me into the header and the footer, which is how I would go into the headers and the footers. But if you want to do it through the ribbon, you would go to the insert ribbon tab then you come down to the headers and the footers group and you click on either header or footer and wh whichever one you click on it'll take you in and then you've got your presets these are all preset headers and footers and you've got more headers from office.com or you can just say edit header and then that will take you into the header notice when you're in the header you've got your header and footer tools and the design tab this is a contextual menu and it only pops up when you're in the actual headers. Now in the ribbon, the design ribbon, you've got the header and the footer group, you've got the insert group, you've got the navigation group, you've got the options group, you've got the position group, and then you've got the close header and footer. Now we're starting a brand new document, uh, it hasn't even got a name, but when you're starting from scratch you just go into the headers and the footers and you literally pick a footer. Now I'm just going to pick a header that I want and just imagine I want to pick that and then I'll just type some text in there right that's in there and just let's imagine that we're going to nip down to the footer and we'll nip down to the footer and then I'm going to type in here now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to insert uh, the page numbers. Now, you just click on here, or you could go into Quick Parts and go into the fields. I'm sure the fields have got uh, page numbers down there. Number page, page numbers. Um, let's have a look. There you go. Look, page, page reference. Uh, page there. And you just stick that in. Yeah and you can put it in there page one two three and so on and so forth but I'm just gonna go here look and say page numbers now I, w I could have it at the top of the page the bottom of the page in margins current position I just want it in the current position and I just want a simple number one but here I could have just said page save me typing it and a one but I just want number one and there's page one now when I close the header and the footer and I just close it down notice you see that there and then you come down here and there's page 2 now if I type a little bit of text yeah and put a new page break in notice now there's page 1 there's my header on both pages and then notice down here we've got page 2 so it is really simple to put these header and footers in but they are quite good as well, they're quite nice as well. Now that is as simple as headers and footers are, but obviously we'll show you a little bit more to them. Now all I'm going to do here, I'm just closing that document because that was starting from scratch. If you're starting on a document that already exists, then you would have a document looking like this. Again, we would go into the header and the footer, remembering insert header and footer, or you can just simply double click in the area. Now when you're in the area of the header and the footer notice you can see your document text but your document text is it's dimmed out a little bit because you haven't got access to it because you're in the document not on the document now notice here in the design ribbon you've got show document text if i take a tick out notice it gets rid of the document text just means it doesn't distract you because some people get distracted by it me personally i don't mind so i'll leave it on but you can get rid of it if you don't want to see it notice here in the options group again you've got 
different odd and even pages. Now what you can do, you can put a footer and a header on each even page and each odd page so you can if you would like doing double-sided printing and you were making a book you would have a header on the odd and a, a different header on the even and they, they that is really powerful when you're doing double-sided printing notice when I put a tick in it odd page because we're obviously on number one so this header would go on pages one three five seven and so on and the even will go two four six eight different first page header now this is very powerful because you can have a different now all I've done here guys all I've done here is just stuck a little bit of text in there for you and I'm just literally gonna make it a bit bigger just so it's you know different cover now what we'll do is we'll stick a little bit of formatting on just so it can yeah that'll be fine and we'll stick a little border on i think we'll stick a little border around it you can do any formatting in a header and footer you can do any formatting that you would normally do um you can do it in the headers and footers so you can put pictures in you can do you can do anything now that goes in there we'll put a little bit of shading on just a light shading and we just say okay yeah and then that covers that now there now when you go back that's your f your first page header but we've got a different first page header so that will look different to the first page the second third and fourth pages will look different to this then we'll go down to um the footer and you would put in whatever you want in on the footer i'm not going to put a footer in by the way because um, i don't want to at this point this is the navigation pane this is where i can go to the uh, header if i'm in the footer and the footer if i'm in the header yeah then i can go to the next and the previous headers and footers now i'm in the header at the moment and i'm on page one so there isn't any previous but i can go to the next one now the next one would be page two and you can see there look page two and that's the next one now in here i could do pretty much what i want to do but if i want to stick a picture in for instance i just click on that picture and then i would just scroll down find a little picture that i want to stick in we'll do him yeah now this picture is massively big but it's just to give you the idea yeah and then we can what we can do we can just drag that down and then literally and uh, like so I, I don't need to put any more in than that now what we'll do here we'll go back down to the the footer now in the footer you've got on the insert section you've got pictures and clip art very much the same thing only one's a photograph one's clip art and then you've got date and time you can put date and time things like that in but you've got these quick parts also now the quick parts you've got your auto text entries you've got your document properties they're very powerful because you might want the author's name in or you might want an email address company address you know there's various things here that you may well want in your document a title and a subject published date then you've got the fields now these fields are really powerful and there's one down here that i use quite a lot and what it is it's the file name now you click the file name and then you can go to the format down here and you can go to uppercase lowercase first capital title case yeah i'll go title case but this is what i like add path to file name now what you do here you put that tick in and that'll give you the file name and the location where it's stored for me that's a real time saver i really do like that field in there notice down here in the fields section where i was showing you all the different fields i've got the category and all but you can change that and say document date and time you can say document annotation you know there's all automation sorry um there's all sorts mail merge you know they're all different categories if you're looking for a particular field you can break it down but i just leave it on all now once we've got the file name in place like we have and i've 
obviously checked add to path and I want it in uh, title case and I just say OK. Notice now that puts the file name and path in there. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Um, close that down. Notice now there's your first page header. Then you scroll down the document and there's your second. But notice here there's the footer in the second page. Now if I would say that's where I want the page break to occur so I put a page break in there and imagine that I'm going to put a page break in there so now I've got three pages in the document yeah there's the file name and path and the header file name and then the header in there look absolutely fantastic and when you go to the print preview notice there's page one and then you come down here there's page two and three absolutely brilliant yeah and they do print exactly as you see them so there's no problems there whatsoever and that is your headers and your footers really plain not too complicated the you can go a lot deeper with them and if you needed to just subscribe and drop us an email and we'll you know we'll do your video on different sections if you wanted different number sections because you can put sections in headers and footers as well uh, but that would have to be more a specialist video. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this informative. Uh, don't forget to check my other videos out. And remember, if you do subscribe with our channel, we do take requests. So just subscribe. Let us know what you want to do uh, by email. And we'll do your video as soon as we can. Thank you. Bye.